This one's for our YouTube fam who are trying to make ends meet on fixed income. $858 billion has been approved by the US House of Representatives, making it the biggest defense bill to date. Now I should also note that lawmakers have admitted to not having read the bill, but just simply approving it. Now I wonder who's gonna pay for that. I guess we should all just look in the mirror and we would quickly find out exactly who's paying for all that, if you know what I mean. Now at the same time, households across the nation are struggling with debt. You might make $20,000 a year, $50,000 a year, $300,000 a year. Most people right now are living paycheck to paycheck, leaning on SNAP and EBTs, social security benefits, SSI, SSDI, credit cards, American Express, Visa cards, and whatever else that they can borrow on personal loans, you name it. Ultimately, building more debt seems counterproductive. I think you guys would pretty much agree with me, right? I mean, you can't make it happen no matter whatever the government is saying. Social security, unemployment benefits, even SNAP benefits, these are not enough to build wealth and to even keep your head above water in most cases. These are never gonna be enough to keep a person going, even with the most minimalistic lifestyle. Can I get an amen, guys? So yeah, we're gonna take a look at some big changes that are coming for all of you. Three big social security changes that are coming for 2023. What retirees need to know, SNAP benefits going higher in 2023, but the question is, will it be enough? Definitely stay tuned for the whole video. More than 65 million Americans are on social security benefits right now, and nearly 90% of retired workers depend on these monthly checks to some degree. Now, obviously there are those who have 401k investment accounts, brokerages, Roth IRAs, and other forms of retirement investment accounts. But this is why I thought we would start with the big changes coming to social security in 2023, because this is going to affect almost everyone. Okay, so number one, the biggest cost of living adjustment or the COLA for social security benefits. Now, I don't have to tell you guys, COLA is basically the adjustment in your benefits to help offset inflation and rising prices on everything from food to your credit cards. And we all know how bad inflation was last year, hitting a four decade high in 2022. Now this goes for gas, groceries, and all of your other necessities. Now because of that, social security checks will get their largest COLA in four decades this year. Benefits will increase by 8.7% in 2023. So this means that the average benefit for retired workers is gonna jump up $146 to $1,847 a month. That's right. Now, of course, these are the averages. Not everyone's going to get $1,827 a month. Some are getting much more than that. Some are actually getting less than that. But we're crossing our fingers that this does not get worse this year. Otherwise, those social security payments would fall even further behind. They say 8.7% inflation. Not too long ago, Cokes were $3.99 for a 12 pack. On sale, you might even get a 12 pack of Coke or Pepsi for $2.99 even. But now you might go to Walmart and see Cokes for like $7.99. Don't even get me started on the price of eggs. It makes me think that inflation is 8.7% per month, not per year. Y'all know what I'm saying, right? Now, as you all know, you know, we talk about the U.S. economy, what's going on in Washington, D.C. that affects our lives, our families, and our bank accounts. Many viewers of our channel have financial freedom goals and would love to be able to retire early and have the comfortability with the luxury of being able to spend more time with their loved ones whenever they want to. I mean, that's the American dream, isn't it? And I have found that earning multiple streams of income through side hustles, finding the very best stocks that pay regular dividends or other passive income methods have allowed me to make money and free up my time to be able to spend more time with my family. Now, this may never have been possible without learning how to do that from some of the many audiobooks that are available on Audible. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I think books are a great form of entertainment and a great way to learn new things. But the thing I really like is that Audible makes it easy to listen to all of my favorite books, whether I'm traveling, working out, doing chores, at work, or even at home in my spare time. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre, from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. You guys know how much I love fitness, but one thing you might know is that while I'm I'm working out my body to improve my health, to live longer, and to get stronger, I'm also exercising my mind. One title I love listening to on Audible is Rich Dad Poor Dad, which has taught me a lot about how I think about money. Now, in this particular audiobook, the author and entrepreneur Robert Kiyosaki introduced me to the cash flow quadrant. This concept alone completely opened my eyes to seeing how to earn money and build wealth that the 99% are almost never exposed to. This was completely life-changing information 
information for me and for my family. And it's just one of literally hundreds of thousands of titles to choose from on Audible. Now, I've personally had Audible for years and I absolutely love it. Audible's newly included section of titles makes Audible membership so much more valuable and it gives all members a chance to discover new favorites and new formats like the exclusive Words Plus Music series or a podcast. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days using my link down below. And as an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. Members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. You can download Audible included titles all you want. So be sure to get your free 30-day trial of Audible by clicking the link in the description down below of this video. One more big change in Social Security, higher earning limits for beneficiaries under full retirement age. Now it looks like they're really pushing retirees to go back to work. Sadly so, I know. Workers become eligible for Social Security retirement benefits at age 62, but certain penalties are applied to anyone that starts benefits before full retirement age or FRA. One such penalty is the annual earnings limit. Basically, you could receive retirement benefits while still working, but workers under FRA that exceed the relevant earnings limit will receive a reduced benefit. The lower earnings limit applies to workers under FRA for the entire year, while the higher limit applies to workers that attain FRA during the year. Both limits will increase next year. So for example, if a worker is receiving retirement benefits will be under FRA throughout 2023, and they earn between $26,240 and $6,000 above the limit, their social security benefit will be reduced by $3,000. Then if a worker receiving retirement benefits will attain FRA in 2023, and they earn $62,520, again, $6,000 above the limit before reaching FRA, their social security benefit will be reduced by $2,000. Now, something to keep in mind if you guys are considering freelancing or any kind of side hustles this year. More on that later in this video. Now, once a retired worker reaches FRA, the earnings limits no longer apply. Now, as for the last change in Social Security in 2023, a bigger maximum benefit for retired workers. The formula used to calculate Social Security retirement benefits is adjusted annually to account for changes in general wage levels. As a result, the maximum retirement benefit increases each year, but the calculation is also affected by lifetime earnings and age. Specifically, to get to the maximum retirement benefit, Workers must have income exceeding the maximum taxable earnings limit for the last 35 years. They must also wait until 70 years old to claim Social Security. Now, I don't really know many people who hit these, but anyone who can check both boxes qualifies for the biggest Social Security check at $4,555 a month in 2023, which is up from $4,194 per month in 2022. Now, what would you guys do if your Social Security payments went up to $4,555 a month? Drop me a quick comment down below. Now, a lot of my friends on Social Security, they don't buy anything extra. Utilities like internet and water, they keep going up. Most of the time, they only have about $50 left over for food and gas at the end of the month. The rest, they scrape by with the help of SNAP and EBT benefits, maybe even food pantries. Let me know if you guys can relate on that. Next, let's talk about those SNAP and EBT benefits or the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Now, we're going to see this raise in SNAP benefits this year, hopefully helping out you know, with poverty and food insecurity, but the reality is that millions of Americans are still struggling to be able to put food on the table as many people are living paycheck to paycheck or even worse. So how high are SNAP benefits gonna be for 2023? Well, in October last year, SNAP benefits increased by about 12 and a half, almost 13% to reflect the higher cost of living. Now this particular figure will be adjusted again in October, 2023. In most parts of the country, the maximum monthly SNAP benefit for a household of four is now $939. That's about $7.70 per person per day. That's the maximum. Now, if we're talking averages, the average SNAP benefit for a household of four is $718. So this breaks down to like $5.90 per person per day, less than $2 a meal. Do you guys think that this is enough? Now, I think that we all know the answer to that one, especially with news reports showing record numbers of people at food banks last year and rising food insecurity in the country. In short, Americans are starving. But to put it simply, inflation makes everything much more expensive. And all of that leads to food getting affected as well. Housing costs are higher. Have you guys noticed how they raised home property taxes without even telling us first? And on top of that, utility costs are higher as well. Now, in terms of SNAP benefits, the value of those payments shrinks every passing month. 
Plainly put, the current system isn't designed to handle double-digit inflation. For example, snap adjustments get announced in June and implemented in October. Now, by the time the June changes come into effect, the cost of the USDA's food basket had already increased by almost $30 from $939 to $967. Now, in some households, that's like 15 meals. And the bad news doesn't even end there. SNAP benefits may be even higher than ever, but some households will receive less money next year. This is because emergency allotments of the pandemic are probably coming to an end this year. This is why SNAP recipients are watching the public health emergency very, very closely. This allowed states to waive SNAP requirements and pay extra money. Now, thanks to this, all households could receive the maximum benefit, and those that already did could get an extra $95 a month. Now, the Urban Institute estimates that the emergency allotments kept around 4.2 million people out of poverty during the fourth quarter of 2021. Some have already stopped making these extra payments, and you can guess which political party those states belong to. And when the national health emergency ends, others will follow suit. We don't know exactly when the health emergency will end, but when it does, it will mean that SNAP families will receive less money. Now, last but not least, changes in retirement rules with the latest omnibus spending bill that passed Congress and the White House. The SECURE Act 2.0 would require companies to automatically enroll new workers in a 401k plan starting in 2025. Now, employees can still opt out if they want, but by making this a default, workers are expected to increase their retirement savings by $40.5 billion over a decade. The bill would also allow companies to set up emergency savings accounts for workers who can fill it up through automatic payroll deductions. Let's take a look at some of these new retirement rules that are supposed to help Americans save for retirement. All right, so first, it will require auto enrollment in 401k plans. So employers starting new workplace retirement savings plans would be required to automatically enroll employees in this plan. Then it will be up to the employee to actively opt out if they don't wish to participate. Now, of course, if the employee wants to be able to retire early and retire faster, they can always increase their 401k contributions. Second, employer contributions for student loan payments. When you have to pay down student loan debt, it makes it harder to save for your retirement. Basic math, right? Secure 2.0 could let employers make a matching contribution to an employee's retirement plan based on the student loan payments. That way, it would ensure that the employee is building retirement savings no matter what kind of like almost a guaranteed way of creating some passive income for you for the future. Third, increase the age for requirement minimum distributions. Now, it used to be when you turned 70 and a half years old, you had to start withdrawing a required minimum amount from your 401k, your Roth IRA, traditional IRAs, and whatnot. Then they moved the age to 72 years old. Now, under the new legislation, you likely would not need to tap your retirement savings until age 75 if you didn't want to. Basically, this allows your investments in your brokerage accounts to continue to grow in tax-advantaged accounts for longer periods of time, increasing your overall net worth. Theoretically, of course. And if you do need your money sooner than expected, the new rules would help build and access emergency savings. Now, this option would let you make a penalty free withdrawal of up to a thousand dollars a year for emergencies. Another might let an employer add a sidecar account to an employee's retirement account where the employee can contribute after tax money explicitly for emergencies. So that money could then be taken directly from their paycheck, just like their 401k contributions are. Now, for older workers, they're raising the catch up contribution limits. Now, currently, if you're 50 years old or older, you can contribute an additional $6,500 to your 401k on top of the $20,500 annual federal limit. Now, under the retirement package, those between ages 60, 64 years old, the final range may be a little bit narrower. They may be able to contribute $10,000 instead of $6,500. There are also changes that they're bringing to the savers credit low income filers that they could get a refundable tax credit worth 50 percent of their savings up to a contribution limit in a given year. Tax credits reduce the tax liability for your dollar, but refundable tax credits mean that you could get the money in cash even if you don't have an income tax liability to deduct from. Sounds like free money to me. And last, the changes are going to make it easier for part time workers to save. Like what was said in the clip earlier, just one thing. Come on, Congress, just give us the one thing here. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What should that one thing be that Congress should focus on? Drop a quick comment down below. Now, as for me, I'm gonna make sure to keep an eye out for that one thing, plus all the money leads that we're keeping tabs on. Make sure you guys stay subscribed to the channel and make sure your notification bell is turned on.
Now, I hope that you guys got all the information in today's Social Security Retirement and SNAP mother load, changes to all these programs, and how you can make money out of all of it. Make sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. Just make sure to hit the share button right there. Now, while you guys are down there, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, but don't forget to check out the hundreds of thousands of titles available on Audible. Members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible Originals, and podcasts. You can download or stream Audible included titles all you want. So make sure to get your free 30-day trial of Audible just by clicking the link in the description down below. It's completely risk-free. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next video.